This is Bruce Wiggins, staff of Weekly News. I had the pleasure of meeting a real-life spider girl, Elizabeth Muley. She is internationally known for her research work with tarantula spider venom as it relates to heart patients. She is also an HCC Stafford science student. Let's meet her. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Mule. I am going to HCC. This is my second semester at the Stafford campus, and I love it a lot. And I also am studying my research, or studying research here, at uh, using the biology labs and in, in my spare time. I'm going to get my associate's degree here, and then I'm hopeful to go to either Texas Tech or A&M for two for the for graduating and getting a major in biology or entomology. How did a girl so young get involved with spiders? Well, when I was three years old, this little spider crawled onto my car seat and I was terrified. So I, I got really scared and I asked my dad to pull over and he came over and he killed the spider. And when I got home, I realized that I wanted to know what it was. So I convinced my mother, who was terrified of spiders, to help me go to the library and look up spiders and find the spider that my father had killed. And we did that, and I was just fascinated. So I kept studying them for about two years. And when I was five years old, I got my first tarantula, and I was a Grandma's Lorizia, and I named her Fluffy. <laughs> Spiders, they, they are venomous, but with most species, uh, especially here in the United States, they won't bite unless threatened. I have about 30 spiders, um, all varying in different species. I have, I have these, and I have a gra Grandma Sol Rosia, and I have some, I have a few Brachypelma smithies, and just a lot of species. <laughs> As you can see, uh, tarantulas don't usually move around that much. Uh, she's just sort of trying to get a feel. She might start moving around in a minute, but they're very gentle, very... Most people don't think of spiders as gentle or having a personality or, or loving or anything like that, but um, with my spiders, I notice they have personalities. What led to you being on Jay Leno and Oprah? I had been studying spiders and one of my dad's friends knew a man named Frank Davis in Louisiana and he he knew him and, and they were walking at, I think it was some sort of run or, and uh, his, my dad's friend talked to him and he was telling about this little girl who raises spiders and that was me. So they came over to my house and they filmed me with the spiders and they just sort of showed that, you know. Uh, little kids don't always aren't always afraid of things, and it's kind of weird for a girl to like spiders and just all this other stuff. And um, somebody from the Jay Leno so show saw that, and they invited me on uh, a few weeks or months later. It was, and and from that I went on to Oprah and Ellen. Tell me about some of the research projects you are involved in. Right now, uh, Dr. Fred Sachs uh, at the at the University of Buffalo, New York, he is doing research using Gramosola rosea tarantula venom, which is the kind of spider I had or have still, and was my first spider. And um, what he does with that is he takes the peptide GSM TX4, and he has made it's sort of like a mirror image. And it, he uses that to as a channel blocker for the heart heart arrhythmias and and as a possible cure for muscular dystrophy. They're they're working on that research right now. I'm gonna do an experiment about uh, using the Gramosolorosia venom on crickets to see if they have the same effect of slowing down the heart rate as he's using, as Dr. Sachs is using in Buffalo for his research, and it would just be sort of like a, like trying to help him finish that research. The work of Elizabeth Muley with spiders may one day save your life. Bruce Wiggins, Stafford Weekly News.